Blog Talk Radio. I saw it until one minute ago. Oh, God. God. Hey. Good evening, folks, and welcome to Contact with Leslie Mitchell-Clark. If you just uh, heard me griping in the background there, it's because we've been having significant Internet problems uh, here in the uh, Knot studio in Toronto, uh, in my home, and uh, Blog Talk Radio just uh, conked out one minute uh, before the show is to go on air. Anyways, tonight's show is pre-recorded with Robert Mason. It's a fantastic show. We recorded it about three weeks ago or so. It's very honest, very frank, and very revealing. So we hope that you'll listen in and maybe give us a ding on our Facebook page if you found something that you enjoyed. So I'm going to queue up the show to run right now, and uh, I will apologize in advance for some audio problems. Um, We were recording the call through Skype and there were some technical glitches, so at times Mr. Mason fades out and fades in a little bit. But on the whole, I think you'll get his very potent messages. Enjoy. So champagne was like bubbling. Every single bit of me was like just tingling and bubbling, and I felt so good, and I was so happy because I had my confirmation, the news that the UFOs were real, and the most amazing thing about it all was they knew that I was alive. They were not only... Um, we have and, about... And I, I, have, yeah, I haven't even got, I haven't even got to the main stuff yet. I know, but I don't worry. To tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does. Listening to Contact Radio. Yep. This is your host Leslie Mitchell Clark. I'm joined by our co-host Wes Roberts, and uh, this is a pre-taped interview, folks, with our dear friend Robert Mason, ufologist, exopolitician, C5 pod leader and uh, he's speaking to us now from Perth this is pre-taped so unfortunately you cannot call in but uh, we are uh, now having a very fascinating discussion with Robert Mason about one of his many experiences where he was uh, actually uh, I don't want to use the term abducted but he had an experience where he was he was taken disappeared for a while and came back and all of this is on photographic evidence so we're going to continue now with robert mason for the next uh uh next uh, 20 minutes or so as he continues to tell us about his experiences so robert tell me a little bit about uh, you were referring to your relationship with uh with with your old mates with your yep. with your space brothers and sisters for lack of a better term tell me a little bit about how things have uh escalated or uh, i'm on the top of the hill and i visualize this craft flying over and grab me and in that instant bang I, well, 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 first thing that that comes to my mind afterwards was i got swooped by, by one of these bloody magpies but oh. um it pulled me up anyway so then there's a light straight away directly in, in in the center of my face in my eyes and everything behind it is like a propeller of an airplane gray um gray black, um, black and white like gray and white spiraling like reality everything's just spiraling like it wasn't even like just like a um like a computer program almost like it wasn't even really it just yeah, it wasn't even really real and i and then at that point at that point i had whole range of things go through my mind like even the very first one was bang i'm 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 i'm, I'm sitting right now on a on inside an um an alien spacecraft and then it was like the first thing that come, oh, I, was, I was like i thought to myself i was going to ascend bloody donna's taking these photos of me and ruined it you know what i mean like yeah. i should <laughs> say things like that and think, but that's almost what i thought and because i 